Hey, this is Alan Curtis Meisner, and uh, otherwise known as the Dragon Mancer. And of course, as ever with me, are my lovely assistants, the tortoise, the mouse, and the eagle. Now, basically, one of the things that I've uh, that have been on my mind really is music. I don't think I've uh, had much of an opportunity to uh, touch upon that subject too often. But one of the things that I have uh, have always enjoyed about music is that there is a wide variety of it. You have classical, you have uh, the kind that you see on soundtracks. Speaking of soundtracks, uh, two examples of uh, really great soundtrack creators, of course, John Williams, of which, uh, name uh, one movie in which Steven Spielberg and George Lucas did not ask John Williams to play a music for them. Well, maybe you can think of one or two, but for the most part, especially the movies for which George Lucas and Steven Spielberg together are most famous. Like for instance, uh, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg uh, worked together on the Indiana Jones uh, series and they employed John Williams to play, uh, to create uh, some songs for that. And of course, George Lucas and the Star Wars uh, franchise both trilogies, both the uh, original trilogy, starting with uh, New Hope and uh, and Phantom Menace, were able to uh, able to include in their uh, presentation John Williams. Think about the effects of music, but before we can get to that. There is, of course, uh, Tim Burton's films, of which uh, every, just about every film that, uh, that uh, Tim Burton has ever made, just about every film, he's always asked Danny Elfman to supply the music. And Danny Elfman, he's another that uh, does really well in uh, creating the emotional scenes of just about every film. But uh, when you really think about it, that's a good way to transition you back into what I was talking about before, the effects of music. Now, can you imagine ever watching a Steven Spielberg film? Like for instance, perhaps, uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Can you imagine Imagine feeling the sense that you are pursuing <clears throat> going right alongside Indiana Jones as he is uh, going through the streets of Cairo or I think it was well anyways one of the major cities of Egypt I can't remember which one but anyways can you imagine he's trying to rescue Marianne and she is caught in a uh, basket. Can you imagine Jim not wanting to uh, wanting to rescue Marianne alongside Indiana Jones if you did not hear that song that uh, pretty much carried the action, made the whole story real? Can you imagine not wanting to be in the... Uh, cockpit of the Millennium Falcon as he is uh, as, uh, as Han Solo, Princess Leia C-3PO and uh, Chewie Chewbacca can you imagine not wanting to be in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon at the moment that everybody is trying to escape from the TIE Fighters by going into an asteroid field and can you imagine, imagine seeing Ichabod Crane examining his hands that reveal scars that were on his hands, of which at that point there is no explanation.
if there was no music played during the time when the scenes took place. Can you imagine it? I know I certainly can't. But that's the effect of music, is that when you're watching a movie or a television show, music has the ability to uh, ability to make the scene feel more real. It makes it feel uh, the best uh, as performed music can actually, and when you're watching a movie, can actually make you feel less like you're simply watching the scene unfold and more like you're a part of it. The ancient Greeks knew very well the effects of music. In fact, they uh, did not judge their uh, potential musicians on the basis of whether or not they could play, but they based it on the character of the individuals. They wanted the right kind of people to uh, play music for them. And they did not want them to be, so if they were out of character, if they had any character that was questionable, they were not going to be allowed to perform music because the Greeks, like I said, they knew the effect of music. I cannot think of anything more powerful or more amazing or more wonderful than music. Because one thing, the reality is, you just cannot deny the effects of music upon people. This is my uh, a, uh, story. Thank you for watching, as ever, and have a nice night.